Yo what's going on guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm doing my review on the CIT Raider PC case as you can see it's over there and it looks great. Right so we're just going to get straight into it. This PC case costs £52 and it comes with 4 RGB fans. This case also comes in black and white, you can have 4 fans, 6 fans or 8 fans and it's still really cheap with the 8 fans coming in at £80. One thing I want to mention is the fans are really silent, like I sit right next to it whilst I'm playing games or whatever, I cannot hear a single thing. The All the fans they link up to this box that you can just stick on the back of your computer as it is magnetic and then make sure all the lights are in sync. It comes with this controller here and you can press like blue, green, red and I can't even tell you how many presets there are. I've been through it for about 10 minutes or something and I have not got to the end of the presets. Anyway that's the main one, the rainbow one, but you can add DIY and that's basically your favourite. So you can save your favourite one to put in a list and there's a button for it. Although you have the remote, you can also control it with Aura Sync. Unfortunately, I didn't realise that you need a 3-pin connector, and I have a 4-pin connector, so I was uh, I can't use it with Aura Sync, but the remote's still great. Anyway guys, I just want to mention that I am doing a £20 Amazon gift card giveaway. It can help you buy the PC case if you win. The link will be in the description. One of the main features of this case is the whole side is tempered glass and this looks really cool although one thing I want to mention is you can sort of see all the PCU cables as the whole thing is tempered glass because in some cases you can only see like the main like the main sort of components like the motherboard bit but with this one the whole side is tempered glass so it does make cable management a little bit more tricky. Also this case is run for two SSDs and two hard drives so plenty of space there. On the PC, there is one USB Type 3, two USB Type 2s, and a headphone jack, and also a power button and a restart button. I got the PC case with six fans, and the temperatures have been great. Not nothing like amazing, but nothing bad either. But anyway, on the top there is a dust filter, so no dust is going to come through into your PC. So that's not a problem but one thing that i want to mention is at the back of the case there isn't much room to sort of like hide cables and all of that sort of stuff my power supply cables are pretty big so it's really difficult to get them behind and make sure you can get the pc case cover on anyway it was a great case to win my first pc especially for the price it's great for any budget build there's literally nothing bad I can say about it apart from the whole cable management stuff. If you're wondering about any parts of my PC, the link will be in the description to the videos that I've done on it. I've done videos like the benchmarks and the pricing and all of that stuff. Or you can just go on my channel, subscribe first, and then look for them. Anyway, that is it for the video, guys. Leave a like, subscribe. See you guys. Peace.